infinite doesn't really isn't so understandable. What is understandable is not space but place. Space and place have very different meanings. Our place on Earth is defined by the space it occupies. Our place in this room is divine, defined by the space it occupies. But over time, I mean, if we just pick Malibu, this place has changed greatly. The space didn't change, but the, 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 the place changed. You know, right now it's uh, these Malibu hills, they have movie stars, swimming pools. But 150 years ago, it was the home of Native Americans. What was the tribe that was living here? Jumash. Jumash. 200 years ago, it belonged to Mexico. In 90 years before that, the Spanish colonized it. 10,000 years ago, it was populated by super fast giant bears. They could stand in, in Eric's foyer and reach the top of the ceiling. They were huge. Giant beaver, giant uh, lions, and even camels lived here. 66 million years ago, dinosaurs, or maybe even sooner. Nowadays, they're starting to say, well, really, dinosaurs lived much longer. They were li we lived with dinosaurs. Daskalos always said it, but science just poo-poos that idea. But now they're finding evidence all around the world. In a cave in uh, Iran, they found cave paintings of humans with dinosaurs. Stegosaurus, I mean, the kinds we recognize. Mexico, do you know about that? They found evidence down there. They've just found in Colorado, that's you, Kate. <laughs> they found dinosaur that still had some bone marrow in it. Ooh, cool. And they said it was 30,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago. Huh. Same thing in Minnesota, they found some. So now they're starting to rethink this whole idea. Not, not mainstream science, but people are starting to say, well, this doesn't add up to what we're told. We we're really not told the true history of Earth, but uh, anyway, if you could roll this all back, just try to imagine, it's the same space, but how different the sense of place changes in that time. The meaning of life in Malibu today is completely different than it was during those past times. So it's not really space that's giving us the meaning of place. What happens in this space place is what's giving us the meaning. And more importantly than that is how we react to what's happening in this space place. That's what's really creating the meaning for us. How our life turns out is 3% of what happens to us and 97% of how we react to it. And we're all reacting to it different, as we talked about on the first, first nine. And there's two, two important things that depend on how we react, how our personality reacts. The one part is the conscious part. The conscious part of your personality. In other words, the way you think, feel, and look at life. Or we could just say it, your perception. That's one important part. This is the so-called wakeful state of your personality. That part uses the five material senses to receive impressions, interpret them, react to them in pleasure, fear, attraction, repulsion. And we don't all attract, uh, react the same way to these events. So each of us is ascribing a different meaning to these same events. Now even more important to our reactions to what happens is our memory of what's been previously imprinted in our experiences. Because whatever happens to us awakens previously stored memories, desires, interests, fears coming from past, expense, uh, past experiences. This is the second point in the personality. The subconsciousness contains what you call your personality, a combination of 20% conscious, the mind, and 80% subconscious. I'll try to give some meaning to that from a, some experience I had. When I had little children, I live in the forest, and I, when I had little children, we were eating lunch one day at the table, and we had dogs. We had a big white Samoyan and a big husky. And the dogs barked at squirrels or anybody that got close to the property line or anything like that. And one day I hear, whoop, 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 and I hear, bam, 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 bam. Mm. And I run out, and I find my dog shot multiple times dead. <clears throat> and I was just, 
what? And I ran, I don't know, I just ran into the woods and I found this guy with a rifle. And he goes like this to me. And he was a little bitty guy, he had a little bitty beagle dog. He's just a little fearful man. And I said, did you shoot my dogs? And he said, yeah, the neighbor told me you had dangerous dogs. Well, they were really loving dogs. They didn't cause any problem, but some, because they were big, I guess some neighbor 